After the bye for the Jags, it's phase two of the season, and they cannot afford any missteps if they want to make it to the AFC South. Jacksonville travels to Indy, and a win would put them, believe it or not, in a virtual tie for second place in the division. Here's for Jack sports analyst and former Jags QB Mark Brunell back on the morning show. Here's bottom line. The locker room culture is going to be key. Last year, after they had the losing trend, right? there was just a, a bad mood in the locker room, and it didn't help them. The good thing is, is that was last year. This year is a different team. Uh, from day one of training camp, uh, you've heard that this team is very close. They get along real well. Uh, it's important to each of them. Um, they're selfless. They care about the guy next to them. They don't want to let the guy next to them down. That is team, uh, which I think has carried them to this point. I know the record is four and five and a couple frustrating losses, but it's not because it's a bad locker room. It's not because there's a bad culture there. Um, which leads me to believe that, you know, there's a chance for them to turn this thing around. Nick Foles is the quarterback, but uh, the locker room's been great this year, and that's a very good thing. And Nick Foles is a leader, and if he plays to the level he is capable, they should be solid. Well, he is a Super Bowl MVP. That's about as, that's about as well as you can play, and, and absolutely, he's a very good leader. Um, he's a good quarterback. He's had a lot of success. He's been in those big moments and and uh, so and I think Nick Foles playing quarterback for this team right now it's perfect timing Bruce and uh, and I think the team's going to rally around him of course he's got to stay healthy and uh, so we'll see the schedule is favorable there's seven games out there and and listen it's always one game at a time and anything could happen but it's not like you got the Patriots on there and you don't have to play the Saints again or the Chiefs so uh, Listen, anything's possible. Hope is alive at this point. Uh, we're pretty excited about where we're at as uh, as the season kind of, as you said, phase two gets underway. And, and Fournette has his act together. The rookie core is outstanding. There's a lot of good things happening right now. Leonard Fournette's having his best season. Uh, strong, physical. Uh, he's got good numbers right now. Some big gains. You're seeing one there right now. Uh, he's just been very good, solid. And he's, there's a maturity that's taken place. He's understanding what it takes to be a pro. And that isn't just about production on the field. It's about who you are in the locker room, who you are with your teammates. And uh, so he's made a big jump there. So really good things. The defense has been solid. And uh, um, guess it, I, I'm excited about it. If there's a weak spot, linebacker? Um, yeah, I would say so. Miles Jack has been playing very, very well, but we've had some injuries there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I would say that. It's obviously not the defensive front. It's, it's not the secondary. I think Ronnie Harrison has been doing well. A.J. Boye has been playing very, very well. And uh, probably the linebacker position, uh, maybe the tight end position. We've had some injuries there, some, some guys that are kind of inexperienced playing that right now. So, uh, But at this point, every team has some weaknesses. Um, and we're one of those teams. But... We'll see how this goes. So the big question everybody asks, yes. can we make it to the playoffs? Got to go what, 10 and 6? Uh, 10 and 6, uh, I would lean towards 11 and 5. It's really not all about what we do. It's those other teams in the division that are winning games. Uh, the Texans are strong. Colts lost yesterday to Miami, which was great. But then you got the, then you got the Titans that beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And so a lot of things are going to happen as we progress here. We certainly can get in the playoffs. It's not going to be easy. Um, I think Nick Foles and the Jaguars and, the, and this culture, this locker room, this group of guys that we have right now, I think they can do it. They're just going to have to play some very, very good football down here in the stretch. They've got the can-do attitude. Then yes, they, they do. will do it. Yes, they do. All right, don't forget, it's the Mark Brunell Show tonight, live from Sneakers at the Beach at 7. You can watch it on CW17. If you can't make it down to join Mark in person. Jen?